pictures come out. Uh, what is your immediate reaction? And I express my uh, happiness over this verdict. We have been waiting for a, a good verdict for the last uh, couple of years, and finally, we have got the justice. So, how was the inquiry, sir? It was a... The inquiry was challenging from the very beginning. And uh, we faced a lot of uh, difficulties because there was no eyewitness in this case. And moreover, the body was recovered after 38 days of missing. And the place was geographically very tough to reach there. And so initially we faced a lot of problems there. And, uh, and we understood all the challenges. And uh, to remove those challenges, we carefully planned the investigation steps. And finally, and uh, we could uh, uh, pinpoint the circumstances which led to uh, the uh, crime and uh, consequently we arrested uh, the accused persons and, uh, and we ruled out every uh, aspect and uh, then finally uh, and we charged the case in a proper manner and those evidence was uh, fully accepted and appreciated by the honorable court and so we are happy in that for two counts uh, life imprisonment has been given uh, for both the accused for section 302 that's for murder and for 376A for uh, killing someone during the course of commission of a rape. And uh, while giving this verdict, the court clarified that the life imprisonment means that it will be till the end of the biological life. And uh, for other counts, altogether aggregate uh, 45 years punishment is also there in addition to these two life imprisonment. And a fine of rupees uh, 1,65,000 I think is there. And uh, there, is an, uh, there is a direction to the Legal Service Authority to consider how far uh, it is possible to give compensation to PW1. Victim compensation scheme is there. Uh, that uh, By virtue of that scheme, it can it should be given. That is the uh, crux of the, this verdict. Sir, so what was the challenge in this case? Uh, challenge is that uh, it's a case on, it was a case based on circumstantial evidence. And the body was detected after 38 days. So there was no possibility for getting biological evidence connecting accused because heavy rain was there, the climate of that uh, area was uh, particular because it was a very secluded area, surrounded by water and uh, And uh, the body was highly putrefied. So absence of biological evidence was there, but prosecution could able to prove the case by virtue of 18 circumstances carved out from the material collected by the investigating officer. So uh, how did the investigation team and uh Investigation team did their best. I find uh, investigation to be correct and uh, truthful because uh, uh, you should see that uh, there is no manipulation at all because at no point of time investigation team tried to uh, bring in any evidence uh, actually which was not there. So what was seen in the scene of occurrence that was collected and it was sent up for chemical examination and biological examination and the result was relied on. So the absence of, actually the absence of biological evidence is not the uh, weakness of the prosecution or the investigation, actually the strength of the investigation. Moreover, it was a foreign jury, it was yeah. a foreign tourist and the case was discussed in the Internationally, internationally, because uh, actually um, uh, this, uh, after this uh, commission of this offence, uh, our tourism sector faced a depletion um, tourist visit. I think uh, this will give a confidence to the uh, tourist as well because our system is uh, so strong for finding out the guilt, guilt and uh, cracking at the offences.